Hi everyone, welcome to FinTech Academy. This is Harsh. Today I will go over and provide information about our certified FinTech Income Tax T2 Expert course. All right, let's have a look at that. All right, so let's have a look who is this course for? Well, our course is designed for anyone who wants to learn Canadian Income Tax T2 as a career or personal use for your own corporation or business. It is ideal for those wanting to take their taxation services to advanced level, for bookkeepers seeking to build their business, students looking to expand their knowledge with practical real-world guidance, those seeking to enhance their current Canadian income tax skills, business owners and entrepreneurs, and those needing a refresher. So basically, anyone who, uh, who wants to take their services or wants to expand their knowledge about the Canadian income tax, uh, let's say if they're already doing income tax T1 and they want to take a step further to the T2, or someone who, want, who is owning a business and would like to get a good hold of understanding that, you know, how does the income tax get calculated? Well, uh, for any of those, this course is definitely going to provide you uh, assistance and help uh, with the knowledge for that subject. All right, let's have a look at what will this course cover. Well, let's see what this course will cover in our journey of learning Canadian Income Tax T2 Corporate. So first of all, we will be starting with the introduction to Corporate Income Tax T2. What is a corporation? What are the different types of corporations? Canadian controlled private corporations, tax advantages, and they are also called CCPCs. Then we would like to go a little bit more like what is the SBD or small business deduction for CCPCs? associated corporations. Further, we'll be looking who has to file a T2 return. How do you file a T2 return? When do you have to file a T2 return? Where do you file your paper return? When and how do corporations pay income tax? Penalties um, for the T2 corporation taxes, right, in case if they are filed late. And when does a reassessment of a return that can probably happen and what is in it? So basically, this is what we'll be going through the introductory part of the corporate income tax. So let's have a look further. The next will be understanding the corporation income tax return form. T2 corporation income tax form layout, identification and other information, um, attachments, additional information, taxable income. The, the small business deduction, general tax reduction, refundable portion of part one tax, refundable dividend tax on hand, or it's also called RDTOH, dividend refund, part one tax, summary of tax and credits, certification, and then we'll do a hands-on uh, creating a sample T2 form using profile. Uh, what is a T2 short return uh, and information about that part. And then we'll be looking at some of the schedules which are associated with the T2. Once we have a good understanding of the layout that how does it, uh, how does the T2 income tax form look and what are the details in there, we will be going and understanding GIFIC codes and financial statements. Or understanding GIFIC codes, like what is GIFIC codes, how to allocate GIFIC codes, what statements will the GIFIC codes be applicable to, Schedule 141, which is a notes checklist, how GIFIC codes gets integrated with income tax form, what is IFRS and what is gap hands-on exercise generating s125 which is also called schedule 125 and schedule 100 statements in profile so connecting with that example which we created in the previous topic we'll be looking at the hands-on part right so that we have a good understanding that how does a GFI code statements work next we'll look at corporate income types uh, what is active business income? What is investment income? What is specified uh, investment business? Personal services business? And then we'll be looking at corporate income tax rates uh, for the investment income that is CCPCs. For uh, when we talk about the CCPCs, as I mentioned before, Canadian controlled private corporations. Further continuing, we'll be looking at understanding corporate accounting and taxes, a very valuable topic because we'll be going through personal tax versus corporate tax. Corporation is a separate entity. 
planning corporate taxes, TOSI, which is tax on split income. How does it work? What is in it uh, as a benefit for the uh, for the business, for the corporation? How do you handle with the new rules that have been applied? Um, services versus product businesses, salaries versus dividend, another important topic. How do you decide which one is better for you if you are running a corporation or on behalf of your client? LRIP and GRIP polls, eligible and ineligible dividends, RDTOH, which is a refundable dividend tax on hand, which we had a look uh, before over here uh, as a portion. Further details on that. And then uh, ERTO and NERTO, the new uh, things which have been incorporated with uh, respect to the RDTOH. So what it is, managing shareholders loan account. And then of course, hands-on with the GRIP and eligible and ineligible dividends and ERTO and NERTO. What are those and how do, do they impact the income tax T2 form? All right, so once we have a good understanding on all of these, uh, then we will go further uh, with the topic which is integration with QuickBooks and Jiffy statements. So we want to see, let's say if someone says, I use QuickBooks uh, or my client uses QuickBooks and how do I um, get the information from there uh, into the income tax T2. Well, creating service-based business company in QuickBooks, we'll go through that in chart of accounts and assigning the Jiffy codes to that in QuickBooks. Once we have done that reports, uh, after entering the opening balances, we'll create a few items over there and customize customers and vendors. We'll put in some transactions and once we have done that, then we'll be exporting data from QuickBooks, importing data in Jiffy statements straight away in profile um, and we'll do a hands-on exercise and then we'll come to know how the preparation of the 125, 101 and 100 happen uh, right in the profile. So that is the topic about the integration. Once we have done that, then we'll go continue further preparing the T2 return and the most common small business schedules. What gets reported on T2 form. Exercise will be creating a T2 corporate return in profile. Um, what is the schedule one? Uh, looking at that net income uh, slash loss, which is the main form. Schedule two, which is also the charitable donations and political contributions. Uh, schedule four, corporation losses carrying. Um, eight, which is about CCA, capital cost lands. Uh, Fifty, shareholders information. Seven, that is reporting the investment income. Uh, three, which is about dividends received and dividends paid and how do they impact uh on the corporate T2 return, the main form. Uh, six, which is about summary of dispositions of capital property. 53, which is uh, GRIP calculations, general rate income pool. Uh, 21, which is foreign income tax credit. Number five, which is income tax allocation, if income from multiple provinces. Nine, which is RAC, also called related and associated corporations. 11, which is shareholders loan or withdrawals by shareholders. 14, which is uh, miscellaneous payments to residents. 15, which is deferred income plans. 88, which is about internet business activities. And 24 is when the first year filing of the income tax corporation. T1135, which is foreign income verification. So we'll be having a good understanding of each of these. Um, and these are some of the most common uh, schedules depending again on each of the corporation or the business. Once we have done that, we'll be going through and doing an exercise again, completing the T2 return for a new client. Steps for preparing a new client T2 return, um, completing common T2 return schedules, exercise prepare a product-based business T2 return, um, exercise will cover the GFE statements, schedule 125, 100, 101, and other schedules as needed. So in about this course, we'll cover everything that is needed to start off and have a good understanding. If you want to file the income tax T to return for any of your client, uh, definitely you will be or you should be able to do that. If you have any questions about the course, you can certainly give us a call at 1833-LEARN-QB. Send us an email uh, to courses at fintechsolutions.ca. The courses uh, comes with study material as well as uh, with the certificate that is provided from Fintech Academy. Alternatively, if you need any further details, you can also visit fintechsolutions.ca. See you in the course soon. Thanks for watching.